What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. In this exciting video, I will show you how to use the time-lapse function on the Sony a7 III and show you my workflow afterwards on how I edit using Final Cut Pro X. So I use time lapses to show the passage of time and to enhance the story by giving it more emotion. I especially like to create time lapses in beautiful places when I travel. So when I do my time lapses, I used to use a standard intervalometer like this one that costs around 25 bucks that I got from Amazon that I could just plug in and use. But with the new 3.0 firmware update, which was released in 2019 on the Sony a7 III, it now has a built-in intervalometer that we will test now. So the sun will set around 9.30 p.m. I want to make sure I get there early enough to set everything up. I'm hoping to get a nice sunset. It really depends on the weather. Otherwise, we yeah, just have to live with it. Quite early, but I still wanna pack my stuff and head off. So let's do that. You hear those cars? Damn, it's loud out here. Sorry about that. Quiet! So I'm here outside on a bridge and I'm looking towards the sun that is about to set. I already set up my camera on a tripod. I already dialed in the settings. The camera is pointing towards the sun and while it's recording, I will explain to you what settings I used to record this time lapse. I used the free Lumos sun and moon tracker app that helped me predict the position of the sun. It's important that you look for motion in your shot. So in this example, it would be the clouds moving and the sun setting. I use the aperture priority so that the exposure stays the, relatively the same. Uh, I turn off the autofocus so that it won't change and ah! Turn off the autofocus so that it won't change and set the white balance to manual to have the same color temperature throughout the time lapse. So I choose to set the aperture to around 14 so that the whole shot is in focus. Make sure you shoot in RAW so you get the highest quality out of your images. As a rule of thumb for quick moving subjects like people walking or cars driving, I choose an interval of uh, one to three seconds for slower moving subjects like the sun setting or the clouds moving. I choose an interval of five to 10 seconds. The number of shots I set to as much as possible. So on the A7 III, it would be 9,999. Now let's do the math. So for every five seconds, I get 12 photos per minute, which means I get 120 photos every 10 minutes. And I want to get at least 240 photos per time lapse, which will give me a 10 second clip length. That means I have to wait at least 20 minutes to get that desired clip length. Don't worry, you don't have to calculate all of that in your head. Just use a time-lapse calculator app to figure it out. Autofocus tracking sense I set to mid. Silent shooting interval I turn on so that I don't hear the camera every time it takes a photo. Beep, beep, beep. So the time-lapse has now been running for about 20 minutes and I should have a 10 second clip length by now. Let's head back to my studio and show you how I put it all together in Final Cut Pro X. So what you wanna do is create a new project. Um, I created a folder called time-lapse and a project folder. I will name this time-lapse, time-lapse. Oh. Time lapse. So I will name this event images. I will press command I to import all the images that I took for the time lapse. Time lapse images. As you can see here, are all the images stored. So I will just click on images and import. So we imported all the images, create a new project. I will name this time lapse select all the images and press E to add it to the timeline. So as you can see, the duration of each clip is 10 seconds. So I wanna change that by pressing Command A to select all images and then Control D to change the duration. And I select 
one for one second and press enter. So now we have all the images set to one second. I press shift Z to fit it to the timeline. So I will select all images again and create a compound clip. Press Alt G and name this time-lapse clip. That's perfect. As you can see, there are some black bars on the side. I want to remove that. Press the transform tool and zoom it in until you won't see the black bars on the side. I want to color grade this time lapse a little bit. I add color finale. If you don't have color finale, you can just uh, use these normal color wheels. Just gonna grade it a little. I want to make the time lapse move. So what I will do is turn on the transformation tool, press the keyframe button, go to the end of the clip and zoom in a little. All right, so let's export this video and let's see the end result of it. So that was the final result of my time-lapse video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell button to get the latest update on my channel. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Let me know what you would like to see next. All right, I'm done for today. I'm gonna go outside and enjoy the sun. You probably should do the same and we will see each other the next time.